Summer has been synonymous with vacation, beaches, and fun. But as of recent, what was once the season of dreams is now one full of unbearable humidity and heat waves. Here in Korea, the monsoon season will soon be over, but forecasts are hinting at blistering heat waves to come next week. So just how hot will it get this summer, and what's causing the earth to get hotter every year? For more on this, Professor Song Byung-ju of School of Earth and Environmental Science at Seoul National University joins me in the studio today. Welcome to the program. Great to be here. All Thank right, you. so starting next week, we're expecting the summer heat to scorch down on us even more. So are we expecting this year's summer to be hotter as opposed to last year's? I really remember mm. uh, last year we experienced a very long and harsh heat waves. Yes. Uh, I remember many people really get depressed mm. that time. Uh, but the climate forecasting is very difficult, so answer so maybe no uh, mm. to predict how hot this summer would be. Mm. Uh, but the Korean Meteorological Administration, uh, the agency responsible for producing weather and the climate features, mm -hmm. they predicted that this summer might not be as strong as the last year. Okay, well, that's, that's good news. That would right? be good news. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, now, uh, when does a heat wave warning get issued? I mean, do they take into account the humidity level when they issue these warnings? Well, this year, you, I think you uh, experience a lot of uh, unbearable moments actually coming uh, under very humid conditions. Mm. And uh, as you just mentioned, rainy season will end very soon uh, because the uh, North Pacific high pressure system really occupies mm. after, after the end of uh, rainy season. Uh, then temperature will go up uh, quite high, up to sometimes 35 degrees and 36. Mm. Uh, so heat uh, wave warning uh, actually is issued when there are two uh, more consecutive days where uh, the maximum temperature uh, is greater than, uh, higher than 35 degree. Okay. So, so we are expecting uh, such a temperature rise very soon mm, in like August. when I think. the monsoon season is over, right? Right. So do they take into account the humidity level? No, not really. It's just the temperature? That's the uh, temperature. Mm. but. Uh, if humidity really goes up, it's really hard to remove uh, the heat from our body. Right. Uh, because uh, the evaporation is really subject to the humidity itself. Mm. So uh, if humidity high, uh, gets higher, then we feel very uncomfortable. Mm. So but, but then it, when the w in regards to warnings, heat wave warnings, they don't take that into account. Right, right. It's right. just the temperature. But uh, they, uh, it is called the heat index mm. if we include uh, humidity. Okay. Uh, so the heat index will really go up when mm. humidity goes high. All right. Now, Korea has been known for its four distinctive seasons, uh, mm. spring, summer, fall, and winter, but recently we've been seeing the summers and winters get longer and more severe. So what's going on here? Well, we have to blame the global warming. Mm. Uh, we remember uh, the uh, springtime, all flowers uh, blossoming right. all uh, at once. Mm. The, uh, because the uh, day flowers expect the higher temperature very quickly after the winter ends. Mm. Uh, that means the spring is getting shortened and uh, uh, summer like weather patterns really mm. persist for long uh, months, mm. perhaps starting from May uh, continuous until September. Uh, we used to have very nice uh, springtime in the past, uh, very mild and sometimes right. dry, and uh, we have quite mild precipitation mm -hmm. as well. And uh, uh, September, we have very uh, clear and uh, dry and a nice temperature, mm. but no longer uh, mm. we expect uh, such a nice uh, period from you know, May or June uh, or from September. 
All right. So other than global warming, I mean, mm. let's get into the specifics. I mean, what are some of the other reasons that are causing such changes in seasons and temperatures? Well, the global, well, uh, if we uh, think, we will talk about the climate change, there may be two reasons, actually. Mm. Uh, climate change can take places uh, because of natural uh, change. Mm. Uh, Mother nature right. can change the temperature and the precipitation. But other fact is actually coming from carbon dioxide. We uh, emitted a lot of carbon dioxide, which can induce global warming. So mm -hmm. heat waves uh, uh, we are experiencing nowadays are really due to the carbon dioxide uh, we emitted uh, by digging the coals mm -hmm. and the petroleum from the ground that saved long, long years uh, you know, over the time. But uh, industrialization and uh, uh, population growth all contribute to such a uh, rapid rise of carbon dioxide. Mm. So people uh, really should believe that these heat waves are coming from uh, global warming. All right, so obviously global warming and climate mm. change are some of the problems that's been facing South Korea, but not only South Korea, but countries around the world. So in general, I mean, how mm. hot has the earth gotten in recent years, not just Korea? Well, the, uh, in terms of climate change or climate behavior, uh, we really cannot say uh, by only observing several years of uh, you know, mm, temperature right. or precipitation. Uh, because, uh, as I mentioned, the nature can actually uh, give such a fluctuation. Right. Year-to-year year year variation is large. Mm. But if we take uh, mean uh, features over longer years, uh, for example, over 30 years, then compare with, uh, for example, 60 years mm. ago, climate, mm. then we can uh, really detect right. the tendency warming uh, of temperature and uh, the magnitude of rise. Mm. Uh, from the observations, we agreed on the temperature rise of one degree uh, centigrade over the one uh, century, well, over the last 100 years. Okay. But Korea has uh, have temperature rise a little higher than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of large, largely urbanization, All I right. believe. So you talked about one degree mm -hmm. rise mm -hmm. in the temperatures. So at this point, we're kind of wondering then, what kind of dangers does uh, come with Earth temperature rising just even one degree, like you said? Mm -hmm. Well, one degree uh, might be considered small, but uh, if we think about the extreme uh, temperatures mm. like uh, extreme heat waves. Uh, for example, uh, we have a temperature range from 26 to 36, for mm. example. And when we uh, 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 deliver uh, such idea, we uh, think the build type uh, temperature distribution mm. uh, from 26 to you know 37. 36. But if we if we uh, uh, make one degree shift toward a hotter uh, temperature range, mm. then we'll have more uh, the extreme temperature. Right, it just goes up yeah. higher. Yeah, the to the end of uh, mm. extreme temperature. Uh, research indicate that one degree change can really uh, bring in tenfold uh, heat waves. Wow. Exceeding uh, 35 degree temperature. Tenfold, that's tenfold massive. Tenfold is a lot. Yeah. Wow. Now, can we forecast, I mean, which regions around the world are perhaps going to experience worse heat waves this year? Well, the forecasting uh, we, uh, we are uh, really uh, thinking is the weather. Mm. The climate forecasting is not possible, uh, but the KMA, the National uh, Weather Agency, they put the forecasting based upon their own statistical mm. or dynamic uh, skills. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think the, uh, uh, the is not really credible to take uh, it as granted. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have to take a caution to accept uh, such a prediction. Mm. As I mentioned this year, the summer, you know, heat wave 
uh, may not be as uh, harsh as uh, last year, mm -hmm. but nobody knows. Right, who knows, yeah, right? It could knows? get uh, more severe, it could That's be longer. Right. So, I mean, weather yeah. is definitely hard to predict, but uh, we are definitely in need of uh, more further research into this field and tackling mm -hmm. climate change and global warming. So, mm -hmm. what are experts putting out as some possible solutions to tackle these problems? But we have to look at what caused this global warming. Uh, that is carbon dioxide, or a so-called greenhouse gas emission. Mm -hmm. uh, over the last 100, more than 100 years, uh, with the increasing uh, population and industrialization, then we uh, put more and more of carbon dioxide, mm -hmm. which causes global warming. Right. But uh, even if we cut the carbon uh, dioxide, carbon dioxide mm -hmm. at this right moment, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean uh, the heat wave stops at this moment. Right. Because carbon dioxide stayed long mm -hmm. in the atmosphere as well as in the ocean. Uh, it lasts uh, over 200 years. So something that's just built up over hundreds and hundreds of years, right? right? Okay. We already put the tremendous amount of carbon dioxide mm -hmm. already in the atmosphere that will continue to 21st century and 22nd century and further longer uh, down to the future. Right, but so it must definitely help to reduce though. I mean, although it's gonna take a long time to you know, exactly. tackle these problems. Exactly right. Uh, the only way is to cut the, the level of carbon dioxide emission. Mm. But that is called the mitigation, kind of reducing the climate change mm -hmm. by uh, limiting the gas emission. But that uh, takes a long, uh, but we tend to kick the can down the road right. until somebody uh, cleans up. Mm. But we have to do that, you know. Many, peop many people say that. We have to really uh, voluntarily, mm. vigorously participate in cutting the greenhouse gas emission level. The mm. other fact uh, we have to consider is adaptation. Mm. Uh, so climate changes, so there is no way to reverse, uh, I mean, within a short period. Mm. So we have to live with kind of new norm, right. uh, which is really hot temperature, hot weather, and uh, even more mm. moist condition. Right. So we have to live with that. Mm. Uh, so that is kind of adaptation. Well, it's so unfortunate, but at the same time, I mean, Korea must be doing something mm. to play a role in tackling these problems. So uh, what is Korea doing in its part? And also, are there any other countries that have been setting some good examples in trying to mm -hmm. tackle these uh, climate changes and problems? Well, global warming uh, is a global issue. Uh, so to solve uh, such problems, related to clim climate change. The world leaders agreed on uh, how the globe, world can mm. cut the level of carbon dioxide emission. Right. In Paris, mm. 2000, I think, 15, right. uh, so-called uh, Paris Agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Paris Agreement, each nation uh, should provide the specific ways and means to uh, reduce carbon dioxide level, mm. uh, cutting how much, what percent uh, they have to cut in certain range of time, mm. and so on. I think the Korea uh, uh, plans and actually execute uh, their plans mm -hmm. uh, to reduce the level of carbon dioxide emission right. uh, by uh, uh, encouraging the use of renewable energy mm -hmm. like uh, solar and uh, wind power energy. Mm -hmm. I think that we uh, have to see the model uh, uh, where in which the uh, Dutch people mm. uh, in Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, Denmark, mm -hmm. uh, they, I think they obtained more than 50% of their energy from uh, windmill mm. uh, harvesting the wind power mm. of, of the North Sea. Uh, they are very uh, good at uh, that. Okay. And the people tend to really take a bike all the time on the street. I really got impressed when I was yeah. there in Copenhagen. Wow. 
Well, I think it's definitely uh, good to hear that a lot of countries are aware of these uh, changes in our climate and that mm -hmm. we're trying to tackle mm -hmm. these problems by going mm -hmm. green, right? But I guess right. we need to do more to have these outcomes, you know, positive outcomes in the years ahead for our young generation, hopefully. That's right. Thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you for having me. And that does it for this edition of News In Depth. From all of us here at Arirang, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you right back here at the same time tomorrow.